Welcome back. Almost everybody has a favorite teacher, someone who went above and beyond to encourage you because they could see your potential. Today, as we take time to celebrate World Teachers Day, a global event launched by the United Nations Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization, UNESCO, in 1994, it sets standards regarding the rights and responsibilities of teachers for their initial preparations for their education, recruitment, employment, and learning conditions. Above all, today we celebrate the work of dedicated teachers around the world who continue to strive every day to ensure that inclusive and equitable quality education and the promotion of lifelong learning opportunities for all become a reality in every corner of the globe, including Namibia. We're now joined on the line by a retired teacher, Ms. Ignatia Newman. Good evening and welcome to the show. Good evening, ma'am. Thank you so much for joining us. Let's start off with getting to know you a little bit. Did you always know that you wanted to become a teacher? Yes, without any doubt. Mm -hmm. Every time I went playing with my peers, I took the role of being the teacher to help the others. Oh, awesome. So, from your opinion, what makes a teacher great? Um, you must have the passion, the profession, the love and to enjoy what you are doing. Uh, you must be That's a lot. Uh, I'm just going to mention a few. You must be a committed uh, teacher. Um, know your subject also, and above all this, every day you must come prepared, mm -hmm. and then also to the learners. All right. For now, me, that's one of the good qualities to be a great teacher. All right. What did you mostly enjoy about teaching? Um, I regret myself, or I compare myself. It's a bug. When uh, I see that happy faces and the difference one could make in someone's life, for me, it makes me to uh, do what I'm doing, to, to guide them, for them to confine in me, even with their personal issues. Some even see me as a mother figure. Uh, it really makes my day for me every day to stand up and to see that I'm going to school and uh, to guide and to make a difference in somebody's life to become a better person All right. in life. All right. Now, Ms. Newman, we've seen videos circulating on social media on teacher learner fights. What do you make of the violence between some learners and teachers and how best can this situation be addressed? Sure, it's not a, an easy one. Uh, you know that we are, we are living in a peaceful society, be it uh, from the learner side or, or the teacher. So at times, we also, from the teacher side, we also don't know with what type of burden this learner is coming from home, bringing it to school. Mm. Um, uh, the same also, the teachers also, we don't know what, what burden the teachers are bringing to school, but then, what I've seen is that people, uh, between the teacher, the relationship at times, we are so insensitive to what one in um, Especially uh, for some teachers to throw words, insulting words, without going deeper to the learner's problem, why the learner is behaving in such a, a way. So I also uh, think and uh, because the substance is beautiful, you don't know what they have done last night. Some even we know it's related to um, learners are also um, uh, addicted to this substance. So they move to me, and then the teachers at their approach and say that they are not sensitive towards learners. Uh, and then the also, we know the 
this word is that fully expected from the learner side of the but as many of them, you don't see really the respect coming from the teacher also for that learner to be able to respect you also. Another thing I see is that the young teachers in most cases of today, the learners also can test them to a certain extent of when I see him or he appear. Therefore, I will say this as I wish. So some people, at the temple, they are not the same. Some can, uh, I am making a way. Um, some can maybe you say, oh, let me rather walk away from the situation coming from this arena, uh, or let me call the arena lesson. So this uh, could open the situation. Bullying, we all know that the bullying is not also coming from learner to learner. We also you know, teachers bullying uh, learners and we don't know that they or that learner uh, could do to the teacher. All right. Now, would you say yeah. teachers are given the recognition they deserve in society? Again, <laughs> from my side, I would say. It's a yes and a no. Mm. There are really uh, parents, but maybe for me the parents, uh, who appreciate what teachers are doing. And you would see some of the people come to person in the right level and say, thank you for what you are doing. They see the difference in the, uh, in the kids. The kids also, some of them who are pathetic, they will go to their parents. This is one thing that the teachers also know that the learners speak out to their parents what is happening at school, and they will say that this. So the, the, the no is um, the society, the parent in my opinion, who really cannot control their kids. They sustain the parents. And then the blame game starts that it this this teacher. So from that side we don't that support, but rather the the kids is in this case the right one the um the one to be blamed. Mm -hmm. So for me it's this um, the involvement is making for us the three teacher learner and the to the parent in this case to work together with them to platforms like this. Talking about platform, we can attend for meetings that we will have a school with many hundred learners. Only first meeting you will see only a hundred. So in most cases this information coming from school to be to give it to the parents who also uh missing somewhere so that they can tell the history. And this is where the whole thing is, especially from the part of them who playing the blink game and teacher is always in the spot. All right. Now, Ms. Newman, they say once a teacher, always a teacher. And as a retired teacher, would you say teaching has changed in a good way or a bad way over the years? I would say in a bad way, as an retired uh, I've been in the profession more than 30 years. Our the environment is not safe anymore. The emphasis is more put on coming from the particular I know them, but they tend to forget about their responsibility. And then uh, uh, there are also cases in my experience that parents are taking the part of their children who are being threatened and going to the ministry and going to the director without listening to this the real cause why this is behaving like that. So I think if we get the support also uh, from our leaders in this case, the education sector, because there are times we often think that there was a situation which our hands as teachers are so tight that there's nothing to do about the certain situation. We felt like 
is now a war between the parents and the teacher with the motion for enrichment of our education that's on top. So um so it's so discouraging also for the side of the of the teacher. All right. Now, Ms. Newman, before we let you go, what advice would you give to our young viewers at home that would want to pursue a career in teaching? I would say that um, they shouldn't be scared about what is happening in life. You see, only the impact is so much. If you have a dream to become a teacher, you know yourself, you know your ability, you know your passion. You, at this moment, the media is there also for you to teach. It's really my personality for this career that I want to be. Then go for it. Uh, don't uh, be scared about what you say. So go for your dream. Pursue your career. You might one day be the agent of change. That's the situation. All right. Ms. Newman, thank you so much for joining us this evening. You're welcome. All right. That was Ms. Ignatia Newman, who is a retired teacher helping us on the Daily Roundup celebrate World Teachers Day, talking to us about how she fell in love with teaching, how she enjoys teaching. And you know what they say, the teachers are the backbone of education. Don't go anywhere. When we come back, we'll look at our health corner. <laughs>